Welcome to BioBox Labs. Today we're going to talk about the kidney and how it is the key to your body's filtration system. And if you look at the kidney, it actually functions to both filter your blood to get rid of all the waste and everything, as well as keep your water levels in balance. But a kidney doesn't work alone. If you look at this illustration, you can see that the kidney works with other things. But now we get to actually make an artificial kidney. So we are going to start by looking at all the supplies we need. We need a small cup, some deionized water, which means it's just extra pure, only water, nothing else in there. We have some blood, now, it is synthetic, don't worry, not real, but it works like it's real blood. We have some paper clips, we'll see what you're gonna use those for. Some special stuff called dialysis tubing that looks kinda like saran wrap, but it actually is gonna form a tube. We have some pipettes, and then we have some special test strips, one that will test for salt, and one that will test for urea. So you ready to get started? Oh, I almost forgot. We have to put on our gloves. Let's begin. Let's put first our deionized water and we're gonna fill this cup about two thirds full with the water. So pour it all in and we're ready to go. Then you're gonna take your dialysis tubing and it needs to soak. So we're gonna stick it inside the water and let it soak. And while it's soaking, you can practice using your pipette. Now these pipettes hold about one milliliter of water. So if you pull suck water all the way into the top, it's about one milliliter. So what you do is you squeeze the bulb the long way like this, stick it in solution, let it go, and it pulls up the water. Then when you wanna get rid of it, you push it back in, you squeeze the bulb, and all the water comes out. So you can practice using this pipette a number of times. But now what we're gonna do, now that our dialysis tubing is soaked a little bit, let's see if we can grab it out, and we're gonna see if we can open up this tube. So we'll move it around like this. If you swish it between your fingers, you'll find that pretty soon the tube will kind of open up. You can see that it's loose. So on one end, we're gonna tie a knot. So wrap it around and tie a knot on the end that that knot is on the bottom. Next, we're gonna add five milliliters of your blood, or the, not your blood, but the synthetic blood. So now that you've practiced using your pipette, we're gonna open up the blood, set it down carefully, and you're gonna put five milliliters, which is five pipettes full of blood into this dialysis tubing. So we're gonna open it up, and we're gonna stick the pipette down as far as you can, put, put it in a little ways, and then release the blood. So we're gonna do four more of those. Okay, so once we have our five milliliters, put the seal up the blood so it doesn't spill, and now we're gonna take the blood, and this, we're gonna make sure that it's all in there, and we're gonna twist the top so it doesn't leak out. So now we have a nice little dialysis tube filled with blood, and we're gonna set it inside so that the blood portion of it soaks all the way down into the water, and then you're gonna use your uh, paper clip to actually clip it to the edge. So we'll clip it over on the edge, and you'll notice that the blood soaks into, is sitting in the water, but the paper clip holds it sealed on the top. So you twist it, and then wrap it over the edge of the cup, and then you stick it in there. Now, what we're going to do, make sure that we don't have any blood on our fingers, we're gonna test this filtration, because what's gonna happen is that all the waste particles are gonna filter out of the blood, or they should if this is an active kidney, and then, the but the larger particles, like red blood cells and proteins and all of those, you want those staying in your blood system. So we don't want those to come out of this, um, the, our dialysis tubing. So here we go, we're gonna start off by taking, this is a salt test strip, and we're going to stick it into the solution and we're gonna hold it for a second, and we're gonna bring it out. And there should not be a color change. If there is a color change, it means that probably you spilled a little bit of blood into there. So then we're gonna take our urea test strip, and we're gonna also dip it in there and see if there's a color change. And we do not have a color change because we're starting off, and there should not be any of those substances in the solutions. So, now we're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes and we're gonna let the filtration take place. You can also see that the solution, which is gonna be the filtrate, is completely clear. But we're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes and see what happens. So 15 minutes has passed and look what happened. Do you think filtration has occurred? 
I can definitely see it has because now, look at when we began, this solution was clear, but now it's actually yellow. So you know something has passed from the blood into the, into the solution and filtration has occurred. So we can tell from the color, but now we're gonna use our test strips again and see what happens. So urea is one of the big waste products that, that usually is, takes place and it filters out of the blood. And we saw at the beginning that no urea came out, but now we're gonna see, is there any urea? present. So we'll put our test strip in and we're going to let it sit for a few minutes. Sometimes it doesn't show up right away, but we're going to let it sit and see what happens. And now we're going to take our salt test strip and we're going to turn it in there and see what happens. And immediately a bright orange. And you can see that filtration has actually occurred and there's a lot more salt present in there. So from our little artificial kidney, you've been able to see what takes place in your kidney every minute of every day. Filtration is taking place. There's tiny structures called nephrons that are doing a lot of the work for you inside your kidney. But we have now shown that even an artificial kidney can actually show the filtration process. We hope you've enjoyed the experiment. If you have, follow us on Instagram or Facebook or let us know at info at bioboxlabs.com. Have a good day.